Spacelift stacks are the main building blocks of Spacelift. Each stack corresponds to one infrastructure state and, when triggered by a pull request, merge, push, or manual action, are responsible for deploying your infrastructure resources to their destination. Let's configure a new stack and take a look at its configuration options. I'm going to head to the Add Stack button here. And as you can see, we have the Provider option. We have the Repository selection. You can choose a repository right here. You can then choose the branch that will be tracked by this stack. In this case, I'm choosing main. And then you can also choose a project root. So if I have multiple different infrastructure directories, I can choose one of these if I wish. But in this case, I'll just leave it as the root. When I continue, you can see we can choose a backend, Terraform, Pulumi, CloudFormation, Kubernetes, with more coming in the future. You can then choose a version, which is updated as frequently as we can. You can also choose to manage the state within Spacelift, but if you have an external state, you can also manage it there. And then, of course, you can also import an existing state file if you need. Now, if we create an administrative stack, that means that this stack is going to be able to create other Spacelift stacks. And within our advanced options, we've got Auto deploy, auto retry, protect from deletion, enable local preview. This allows us to preview code on our local machine without committing that code to the repository. An amazing feature with Spacelift. We have run promotion and the ability to choose a custom runner image. So if you have custom applications that you need to run on the image whenever the stack is executed, you can create an image and paste it here. You can also customize the workflow and add custom commands to each one of the workflow stages. I can name this stack, attach labels, which are crucial for policy creation, and add a description. I can save that stack, and this stack can be triggered manually or via a push or PR. Now, of course, with everything in Spacelift, which is API first, you can see that we can actually create these stacks within Terraform. So as you can see, Spacelift stacks are incredibly powerful and include any option you're going to need to get your infrastructure from your repository to deployed.